a firm from Potton in Bedfordshire. It later moved into the Addison fleet and uh, it moved into preservation. Now this example spent time at the uh, Royal Liverpool Children's Hospital where it was parked in the playground there and was uh, decorated with faces and all sorts of things. I've got some photographs of it from one when a previous owner had it, but uh, it was a familiar figure of Mr. Steve Arrowsmith. Goodness me. And uh, yeah, this one went new to Reynolds and Oldborough. Uh, John Vernon acquired it from uh, a dealer in Norfolk called Arthur Mason. Um, the family reluctantly parted company with it some years back. It moved to Ireland, then it's come back to England with another owner. And for the last two or three years it's been with Chris Hull. Right, we have Malcolm Pugh now with uh, his uh, Avon and Porter roller that was built in 1930 and was exported to Sri Lanka. Absolutely brilliant. Jump car racing needs to be very popular all, all over the country. Now limited to a few tracks. I used to go to Bellevue and Manchester to watch it. Now there used to be quite a few. There used to be quite a few over in Norfolk land there because in Norfolk you've got RAF Field and Hall and one of the other RAF bases. Sorry, American air bases, and there were lots of spare parts flying about. That's why a lot of these were built. And they're fantastic. I really do love this sport. You really have got to be brave and a bit daft. No. A lot brave and a lot daft. But look at that. Thank you. Steve in the front one. Then the lights are throwing it about. Just having a bit of fun.